And so, you know, we met up and I took these photos and, you know, edited them and sent them to him for uh, his approval or whatever. Um, and, you know, I, I'm sure you've heard the story before, but, you know, basically he took the files, cropped off the watermark, and then put it up on his site and never talked to me again. Um, and it's weird, you know, to lose a friend over something that you're trying to ask for maybe 40 or $50 for a couple hours of your time. But, you know, that stuff happens. And I wish that I could say that this is the only time it's happened, but I've built entire websites where, you know, sort of on a friend agreement and you hand it over and then they stop talking to you. Um. <laughs> And so when Mike Montiero started uh, talking about design as a job and fuck you, pay me, you know, for me this wasn't a cute little use of profanity on mine. This was something real and something experienced. And it's those sort of times that you've been, you know, kind of taking advantage of, right, that sort of harden you. And then you start to say, you know, hey, I'm actually worth money. And, you know, when I was 19 doing an $8.25 data entry job for the summer, I was trying to learn web design at the same time, and my coworkers somehow told my boss this, and they didn't like the website, and they somehow kind of insinuated that I hated the website and that I said I could do better, even though I had no idea of, like, you know, the difference between a div and a span at that point. Um, but the, my boss sort of came over and was like, oh, yeah, fine, you know, fine, redesign it. Yeah, let's see what you got. And, um, you know, so I, I did, but, you know, also went over and, you know, said, you know, well, if I'm, if I'm going to be doing web design, I'm going to need a raise. I'm going to need a raise to a whole $25 an hour, which, you know, when you're 19, it sounds like you're asking for a billion dollars. <laughs> but then when someone takes your highball offer without batting an eye, you learn something about your industry and how to value yourself. Um, fast forward a couple of years, and uh, sort of the one real job that I've held down in my life, not held down, but that I've taken in my life, um, <laughs> uh, would be at Stamen, which is a data visualization and mapping studio um, in San Francisco. And, yeah, I know you're out there. Um, and uh, so they sort of took me in as I was this um, sort of young, excited person who said, like, I love data visualization, and I don't know how to write any JavaScript. And, you know, Thank God, they said, okay, fine, learn some JavaScript. And, um, you know, sort of the, one of the nice things about this is I, I got to prance around all the tech meetups in San Francisco and say, why, yes, I do both design and code. <laughs> <laughs> but sort of the benefit of working at Stamen is that it was sort of like the island of misfit toys, and that when, at least when I was there, there was no sort of curriculum for how to be a data visualizer. There was 